now let us start the muzzles of anterior compartment so if you see the first muzzle of anterior compartment is coracobrachialis so coracobrachialis is getting its origin from the tip of coracoid process with the short head of biceps brachii do you know that the short head of biceps brachii also take its origin from the tip of coracoid process okay let's learn about it later first we think about the coracobrachialis so in the name itself you can see coraco brachialis coraco coming from the coracoid process tip of coracoid process getting inserted into the brachial brachium means arm muscle arm hand right that is the humerus getting inserted into the humerus so it is getting inserted exactly at the middle 5 cm of medial border of humerus if you see this is the medial border of humerus and that will be the lateral border of humerus so it is getting attached to the medial border of humerus so this is about coracobrachialis so what is the nerve supply of coracobrachialis it is mainly supplied by muscular cutaneous nerve so always remember that the anterior compartment muscles are mainly supplied by muscular cutaneous nerves so first we'll check, check out what are the anterior compartment muscles the first one we already discussed coracobrachialis the other one is brachialis and also the other one is biceps brachii long head and short head so we'll discuss one by one muscle later but first remember that coracobrachialis nerve supply is muscular cutaneous nerve and its root value is c5 to c7 so why c5 to c7 because the muscular cutaneous nerve is nothing but coming from the it's coming from the lateral cord of brachial plexus if you remember the brachial plexus the lateral cord gives rise to the muscular cutaneous nerve so what is the action of this coracobrachialis it is helpful in flexion of arm for example if you see this is a flexion of arm so mainly coracobrachialis is useful for flexion of arm at the shoulder joint but i show the flexion of arm at the uh, elbow joint but the same the flexion of arm at the shoulder joint here especially over here in the shoulder joint the flexion of arm is useful for the is a uh, it's the nature of the coracobrachialis next we'll discuss about the biceps brachii muscle before having a discussion on biceps brachii we have some other points related to coracobrachialis like there are some changes at the level of insertion at the coracobrachialis exactly at the insertion point there are some other changes going on in other sites what are these let us find out the first change in the bone is the circular shaft becomes triangular below this level if you see here this is a circular shaft but below you see it is turning into triangular so that is the change if you fi you find in the insertion site of the humerus right the next one is the facial septa the medial and the lateral intermuscular septa become better defined from this level so actually as we discussed in before videos the intermuscular septa medial and lateral those medial and lateral intermuscular septa become more defined from this level and next coming to the muscles mainly the deltoid and the coracobrachialis muscles are inserted of course as we know the coracobrachialis is inserted over the medial border of humerus even the deltoid muscle is also attached exactly at this side uh, whereas but you know it's not inserted exactly here you have a deltoid tuberosity there it will go and insert next the upper end of origin of brachialis even the brachialis upper end origin from this side and also the upper end of origin of medial head of triceps brachii on the posterior side also uh, start from this point only and the arteries the brachial artery pass from the medial side of the arm to the anterior aspect so brachial artery also start uh, passing from the medial side of the arm to the anterior aspect at this level of insertion of coracobrachialis on the medial side of the humerus so many points are seen at the site of insertion of coracobrachialis to the humerus and also you will find that the profunda brachii artery runs in the spiral groove and divide into anterior and posterior descending branches so profunda brachii artery also divide into anterior and posterior branches at this place only and the superior ulnar collateral artery originates from the brachial artery and pierces the medial intermuscular septum with ulnar nerve so all uh, that also takes place over here next the nutrient artery of humerus enters the bone also here next the veins the basilic vein pierces the deep fascia why basilic vein because you know it is the medial side of the arm so basilic vein below the medial side it pierces the deep fascia exactly at this point 
and also two vena comitants of brachial artery unite to form one brachial vein over here so this is like a very special site for many vessels and also many structures right so always remember the insertion of coracobrachialis is very very special for veins nerves arteries muscles right so we have talked about veins now we will go to the nerves what is the special point here for the nerves the nerves especially median nerve crosses the brachial artery from lateral side to medial side actually the median nerve crosses the brachial artery from a lateral side to medial side so here will be the median nerve but here at this point it will come to the medial side right and the ulnar nerve pierces the medial intermuscular septum with superior ulnar collateral artery and goes to the posterior compartment so ulnar nerve also goes to the posterior compartment by piercing the medial intermuscular septum with the with the superior ulnar collateral artery next the radial nerve pierces the lateral intermuscular septum with anterior descending radial collateral branch of profunda brachii artery and pass from posterior to anterior compartment over here only and also the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm pierces the deep fascia here and also the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm pierces the deep fascia here so there are many special points medial cutaneous nerve of uh, arm pierces the deep fascia here and even the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm also pierces the deep fascia here so many special points are related to the insertion point of coracobrachialis that is to the medial side of humerus so to this video only coraco brachialis in next videos we will discuss about biceps brachialis which are also the muscles of anterior compartment